Hello! I know it's been a while. I'm still alive. I'm not dead. Um, this is just uh, gonna be a quick review of South Park The Stick of Truth. So let's get this party started after the cut. Okay then, um, let's get this uh, started. Um, South Park The Stick of Truth is a decent game. Um, it's a pretty good RPG. Um, it uses a uh, time to attack model, kind of like in the vein of Super uh, uh, Paper Mario. So, I mean, if you like that, it's up your alley. If you don't, you probably won't like the battle system. Um, graphically, it looks exactly like you're playing um, a South Park cartoon episode. A long South Park cartoon episode. Um, Content-wise, it's a series of smaller side quests, a lot of fetch quests. Um, if you're a South Park fan, um, you'll get a lot of the, the, the jokes and the uh, shout-outs. Um, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, the music is passable. Not great, but passable. Um, you'll, hear, you'll hear a few um, Isaac Hayes chef tune, but they aren't nearly as... None of the really, really good ones, like uh, Chocolate and Salted Malted Balls. Or any of his uh, other songs from the series, I don't think. Um... You know, overall, pretty good game. We'll get into, uh, those were the pros. Here are the cons. Okay, here we go. Um, I just talked about the pros of this game. Now I'm going to talk about the cons. This game is retailing for $60. This game, as far as RPGs goes, is not worth $60. <laughs> it's not. This game is more or less a, at the most, $40 game. At the least, a $30 game when it first came out. Um, I mean, like, I know Ubisoft delayed releasing this game for, like, several months. But parts of it feel incomplete, like... Um, Obsidian basically like had an idea kind of went through with it a little bit and then was like oh shoot we're not going to be able to do that and abandoned it or just kind of left it at that point um, like you get a whole bunch of items in the game that you think well they're going to turn this into an item crafting system later on it doesn't come to pass there are certain areas in the game where they're a dead end and like following game logic you feel like there's going to be like something hidden there or a quest or another area there isn't um basically what i'm saying is that ubisoft is ripping people off with the price of this game this game is definitely not worth 60 dollars. it's not even worth 50 dollars. this game is a 40 dollar 39.99 29.99 game at the most okay um, if you absolutely have to buy this game and you're a South Park fan, get it. Um, but um, for those of you who just want to play this game and don't want to spend a lot of money, um, wait until this summer when Steam has their Steam sale, get it on Steam, or wait until the price drops. Because this game, for, for an RPG, it's not long enough to... It doesn't have enough content to make it worth being $60, okay? Um, there are many $60 RPGs out right now that you can get that are worth $60. The Witcher 2, um, on the Xbox and PC, uh, the Xbox 360 and the PC, um, Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition, Fallout New Vegas, Game of the Year Edition, Skyrim, um, Epic Edition, or uh, sorry, Legendary Edition, whatever. Um, Saints Row 3, the Ultimate Pack Edition. Saints Row 4, the Ultimate Pack Edition. 
there's tons of games right now that you can get that are worth $60 and have a huge amount of content that dwarfs what's in this game. So my advice is don't buy this if you aren't a major um, South Park fan. And if you absolutely if you want to buy it but you don't want to pay $60 for a game that's really not worth that much, um, wait until the summer and get it for cheap. Okay, here's our conclusion. Um, pros, this game is a pretty good, uh, fun um, RPG. It's only about 8 to 10 hours long. Um, I beat it in a day, so that tells you. I mean, I'm a major RPG fan, and I can sit down and just plow through an RPG. I've been playing RPGs for years, so, I mean, for someone who's really, really into RPGs, this game is not going to be meaty for them. Um, but for, you know, if you just want to play a little something, just play a little South Park. It's a fun game. Um, graphically, it's like you're playing a cartoon, uh, the South Park cartoon, so that's pretty cool. The battle system is fun, um, and somewhat intuitive, but not greatly. The music is okay. Um, cons... The game is overpriced. Um, it's the content is. It's not. It doesn't have a huge amount of content of gameplay content. Um, and there's some abandoned. There's there's some puzzling design choices in the in the in how the game was made. Um, so overall, I mean, get this if you want it. Um, but if you're if you really want it, but you don't want to spend sixty dollars, wait until it goes on sale. Okay, then that's the end of this quick review.